to another video. If you're new here, my name is Bosma. I post videos all about lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and type 1 diabetes and everywhere in between. Welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a favorites video, quarantine edition. So I'm about to show you guys all the things that I've been loving, especially during quarantine, and how some of these items are kind of helping me not be bored in the house, in the house bored. If you know, you know. I hope you guys enjoy, so let's get started. First category I'm gonna do is skincare and beauty. If you guys haven't watched my latest video, please make sure to go watch that. It is my skincare routine, perfect for sensitive and delicate skin, especially as a type one diabetic. And some of those skincare products are actually my favorite, favorite, favorite things that have been helping me keep boredom away because I've been super into skincare and self-care days. And because we have so much time lying around, I have been definitely making sure to stay on top of my skincare routine. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite products. Some of these are beauty and then some of them are skincare. Majority are skincare, so let's get into it. I shared with you guys my last video, my skincare routine, which was featuring Luminance Skincare. And I just wanted to show you guys my favorite products. I did get one new product, um, which is the Acne Serum. It's basically like a spot treatment corrector, but for an all over kind of application. So I love the Acne Serum, but you guys already know the rest of the products that I'm gonna say because if you watch that video you will have known how much I love the whole line that I use. Lens and Glow Oil which I love that has a bunch of anti-inflammatory oils that are perfect for correcting and preventing breakouts. Then we've got the Delicate Cleanser. Of course I love that just because it is the most soothing cleanser obviously. And then the Rose Water Toner which is 100% rose water base. I love this toner. We've got the Simple Hydration Mask, which is great for hypersensitive skin. And the Acne Serum is a great acne corrector. Um, not so much as a spot corrector, but kind of an all over. It goes right after your, you cleanse and you tone, and then you basically put the serum on top. And then I've been loving their hand sanitizer lately as well. So if you need hand sanitizer, order yours from Luminance Skincare. My code BOSMA will still get you 15% off your first purchase. So definitely make sure to take advantage of that and enter it when you check out and order your Luminance Skincare products. So definitely make sure to take advantage of that. So I've been loving this, these skincare products and the skincare line. Most of the things that I use are for the acne prone. The acne serum is acne prone. The delicate cleanser is perfect for sensitive skin and cleanse and glow oil. The simple hydration is more just a hypersensitive based moisturizer. It's good for people who are more on the sensitive side. And and then the rose water toner. Honestly, the rose water toner I would say is for anybody because it's super light and super, super delicate. It's perfect if you do have sensitive skin. But if you wanna know more about why I love each of these products, definitely make sure to check out my last video. I'll link it somewhere here on the screen, but it is my skincare routine that I do night and day. So definitely make sure to check that video out. The next products, like I said, are basically makeup kind of based, beauty based. I've been really into clean skincare, as you can tell by my love for Luminance skincare. And that also goes for clean beauty, which has been a lot harder for for me to find. For clean beauty so far, I've been really loving Bare Minerals, their bronzer, their highlighters, their blushes. I feel like they are really crafted perfect for people who are after beauty that is clean and really good ingredients in them. And Bare Minerals is actually something that I grew up seeing my mom use a lot of. She uses a lot of clean beauty as well as just products that are super good for your face. And I basically have made it full circle because I used to use it when I was first introduced to makeup and, and starting to use makeup and now I'm back to it. So one of the Bare Mineral products that I really am loving is their bronzer and it's the Endless Summer Bronzer. And it is this fella right here. It is a super pretty bronzer and it's really just made really nicely. It's a perfect shade for me, this is Endless Summer. I like a darker kind of bronzer because I like to look super tan. So I really love this bronzer. It goes on super seamlessly and it washes off seamlessly as well. And then also Bare Minerals, I love their blush. 
blush. Their Generation Nude Powder Blush is super nice. It has good pigment and it glides on super well and you can kind of build on it. So if you like more of an intense blush, you can uh, pack more of it on. The shade that I got is Pink Me Up. I love a good pink blush. I feel like you can never go wrong with a pink blush. Always a perfect color. Summer, fall, but especially summer. But fall, winter, I mean, this pink is a staple for me. So I always have a pink blush on me. So those are the two bare mineral products that I've really been loving. And kind of going into skincare, but also beauty, I've been loving two serums lately. One I use simply at night because it is a vitamin C serum. So I use it underneath all of my skincare and I use it right before I jade roll my face at night and it's part of my bedtime routine. And then the other serum I use as a primer substitute underneath my makeup because I feel like it's a lot better for me. It's not as tacky, which I don't like substances that are too tacky on my face, but it still feels like I have a good foundation for my makeup to go on top of. The primer substitute that I use is this elixir by Becca Cosmetics. It's from the Becca Skin Love line, and it's just the glow elixir, and I really, really love it. It's like a no makeup makeup look, so I love this. I really, really like it. I got it from Sephora, and I would definitely recommend trying it out. I like to use it as a primer before my makeup instead of using an actual primer, just because I feel like most primers can be really tacky and sticky, and I don't, I don't like the feel of that. The Vitamin C Serum is actually by the Sephora line itself. It's super inexpensive. I believe it was under 20 bucks, or right at the 20 buck uh, mark, and it basically has a mix of vitamins in it, perfect for your nighttime routine, which is when I use it. I use it right after I cleanse and tone. I will put this serum on, wait a couple minutes, make sure to use my jade roller, and then I'll moisturize and go from there. And it's the Sephora CME Super Serum. And I love it. It's super glowy. I love using it, and I would I do recommend using it before you moisturize um, and keep letting it kind of sink in there a little bit more. It is an oil, but it's not really oily, which is great. I really like the consistency of it. It's super light, not heavy, and doesn't feel like you're clogging your pores. And I've been loving adding this into my routine. And I have used a good bunch of it. I'm basically halfway, and I really love this product. So I would definitely recommend giving it a try. It's also from Sephora, and it's their Sephora line, which I have realized that the Sephora line is a lot more inexpensive compared to like Becca, Hourglass, all of those other brands that can be a little pricey. So if you want to start dabbling into serums and that kind of thing, but you don't want to shell out a house and a leg, you can definitely try the Sephora line. I think it's the same quality, um, but just more bang for your buck. Kind of sticking with the beauty, I have been loving, well, more so I've had to learn to love to kind of upkeep my brow game at home now that I'm in quarantine and can't get my brows done. So I've been maintaining, not doing anything drastic because I don't want to hurt my brows, but I've been maintaining my brows at home. And I got these NADS facial wax strips from Amazon. They're basically little strips of wax. Um, cut perfectly so that you can use them right here. Um, you can use them on the top if you want, and you can you can basically use them anywhere on your face. They are facial strips, basically made for your brows, your face, your chin, your upper lip, whatever. And they're cut already pre-sized for you, which I think is great. And um, they are made for sensitive skin. I got the ones that are technically for hyperallergenic but um, they have a bunch on Amazon. And these are $4.99, with 20 strips in them. I'll link them down below. 20 strips and they've got post wax soothing pads as well that will help keep the burn at bay, kind of take off that extra residue wax. So I've been really enjoying these. Again, um, so it says here it's great for face, upper lip and chin, fingers and toes. And I've just been including this in my eyebrow maintenance routine with tweezers, which if you have dull tweezers, make sure to get a brand new pair of tweezers and you want to make sure that yours are as sharp as can be when you do your brow. So I've just been maintaining my brow game with those tools at home since I can't get my brows done at a salon, which I definitely miss. Usually I go in to get my brows threaded um, and I have done wax for years beforehand, so it's nothing new to me, but I don't do any shaping on my own at home. I just maintain and clean them up. I do not want to mess up my brows, so. The last thing on my beauty slash skincare slash self-care 
item list here is a jade roller and a gua sha set so i got this for um, my birthday it was one of my best friends and this is actually from amazon so you guys can order this on amazon they have a bunch i don't know if i can find the exact link to this one but there's a bunch and in it uh, comes a little pouch that you can put your jade roller and gua sha set in comes with a little headband which I've been loving using for my skincare routine. You will have seen me use this in my last video. And then it has the actual jade roller, two heads which I love because the small one I use underneath my eyes and my chin and my nose and the big one for my cheeks and my forehead and my neck. And then it has a gua sha which is used for massaging. So your neck right here, um, your chin right here, and right here and basically there's a ton of videos on youtube that you can watch to kind of figure out how to massage yourself with this but it's great for stimulation blood stimulation great for massage great for relaxation so this has definitely become a basic in my nighttime routine which is when i use it the most because it relaxes me for bed and i just love having a new jade roller i had a jade roller before this and it had little spikes on it which is great if you want to do kind of a deep tissue massage but not great all the time because you can't do it every single day since it is a harsher type of jade roller so i limit that to now once or twice a week because like i said it is it has little spikes on it so it's more of a deep tissue massage than anything else love that it came in a set and it has everything that you kind of need for diabetes related next what i've been really loving obviously is my dexcom and that's just because during quarantine keeping your blood sugars in check and managed can be a lot harder because you're not moving and you're a lot more sedentary than you normally may be which is definitely the case for me usually I'm on the go 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 every single day from the morning until night till i get home with school work extracurriculars and everything like that and because i am at home keeping a tight watch on my blood sugars has been amazing so seeing it on my app and on my iWatch from the comfort of my own hand and devices has been amazing. So I'm extra thankful for my Dexcom during quarantine and the ability that it gives me to really manage my blood sugars and keep it in check and have one less thing to worry about when the whole world is kind of going through chaos. So that's a huge one for me. Another thing that I've been really loving are Pip Lancets. So for the time that I do have to check my blood sugar, I'm loving these one-time use lancets. They're super easy to use. You just pop this sucker off and I'll show you guys right now. This is what the one-time lancet looks like. I love it. You just screw off the white part. Just like that. And then you push up on your finger and boom you've checked your blood sugar and then this is disposable you can throw it out and you don't have to worry about using the same lancet over and over again because it's in your little lancet device this is basically your lancet device and your lancet all in one and i love that i'm in three different sizes depending on what your preference is the colors are blue orange and purple i am a blue which is a medium standard length and that's what most people go with but i will link pip lancets down below for you guys and i do have an exciting post coming up with them soon this is not sponsored or anything i just love them but i may or may not be having a giveaway soon you should definitely follow me on social media on instagram to make sure that you are in the loop if that or does if that does or does not happen I can't say, but I'm just letting you know there will be something coming soon. I've just been loving how easy they make it to be to check your blood sugars and dispose of it really quickly. And it is a lifesaver and it comes in this and they give you this little cute case, which you can pop in your bag, your purse, your backpack, everything, and just go and never have to worry about not having a lancet. So I myself have been stuck without a lancet during times where I really need to manually check my blood sugar. And it's a nightmare, I can tell you that for sure. Entertaining myself during quarantine. I've been loving puzzles. I've been loving getting home workouts at home, outside in my backyard, walking, playing with my dog, obviously. But I really, really love just sitting down and reading. So I wanted to share with you guys two kind of genres. One of my genre, one of the genres, obviously, I love a good fiction book. Um, I just, I'm a sucker for them. So this is Followers by Megan Angelo. It's basically all about social media and dark choices that can come with social media basically so i really love this book i just started it so i can't wait to see how it 
ended out. Um, I actually checked these out before the whole stay at home quarantine orders were put in place. And I know my library and probably most libraries are extending the due date of books. So I have extra time to read this, but I cannot wait to finish it. And another thing that I've really been enjoying are Kindle books. I don't have an actual Kindle, but you can download the Kindle app on your phone as well as your laptop and get the books from Amazon or the Kindle app itself. There are a bunch of Kindle books that are for free, so you don't necessarily have to drop a pretty penny to buy books or read them. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend downloading that app. Not sponsored again. I just love reading on the big book nerd and uh, that's something that I've been doing to kind of keep myself busy and I've also been really enjoying like self-help books in the kind that's like motivational and kind of business savvy so um, a good one that I also checked out before the stay at home orders is leadership the 11 essential changes every leader must embrace and I really love books that are self-help and motivational and inspirational and really like get your shit together carol kind of stuff so this is by john c maxwell and it's a number one new york times bestseller so i am really liking these books as well if you guys have any recommendations for books please let me know down below if you guys are looking for an author i love myself some jody picot books i've been a huge fan of hers ever since i was a um a middle schooler a high schooler i got into her definitely uh, late middle school early high school and she writes really really compelling beautiful stories based off of really relevant issues at hand in society that are going on right now and she is the author of my sister's keeper which i'm sure most of you know that story and it's a really really emotional story and that's how i found her and i was hooked after that i actually have a couple of her books and i'm collecting that i collect and i cannot cannot tell you guys enough about Jodi Picoult. Her writing is outstanding. She just has a way with the words and a way with storytelling that is very, very few and far in between that I found when it comes to authors and she has a natural gift for it. So as you can see, I'm a Jodi Picoult fan girl and I definitely recommend you guys to read her books. I'll link her website and some of her books that I love down below. I'm a fan of all of her books. I've read almost every single one. I think there are two new ones that she's really said I have yet to read, but they're just hard for me to find. So I will find them and I will read them. The last genre is kind of based on electronics. So lately I have been having so much fun on my iPad Pro. I got an iPad Pro for my 23rd birthday, which I celebrated April 12th in quarantine, of course. And I've just been loving this thing. I need to clean this stuff. I love my iPad Pro. It's been so much fun to play around with and edit on. And this thing is just so tech savvy. I have my Instagram linked up to it, so I've gotten some notifications. But I just love this. You can prop it up if you get the keyboard, which I knew I had to get the keyboard and the smart pen, which guys, my parents monogrammed my Instagram name on it. Iconic. Anyways, I love it. Um, and I really just love this thing. It's so smart, it's so tech savvy. I really love tech stuff and I'm a huge fan of anything Apple. So I just love it. Um, it has face recognition, so nobody can open it. And I've just been really loving all the apps on it. I've been loving getting really creative, digital art, crafts, drawing, doodling, sketching on here. I really, really love it. Creating a lot of content for Instagram and my YouTube channel on here and I really love it. So I definitely recommend, you know, if you're ever looking for something more technical like a laptop, an iPad Pro is pretty damn amazing and it basically doubles as a laptop. So I can't wait to use this more and learn all about it. I've been loving the app Procreate on here and I'm hopefully going to be using this when I go back to grad school, um, hopefully this year. And so I can't wait to see how this comes in handy. So I love that. And then the last tech gadget is actually a ring light that I got off of Amazon. It is handy for those TikTok dances, but it's actually what is creating a lot of the light. Obviously I have natural light coming into my office right now, but I love having the ring light right behind the camera, which is you guys right now, because it just creates this ambiance and makes the room look a lot brighter. And I love that. So I'll show you guys the ring light that is behind you guys. I got it on Amazon and it comes with a little 
the remote so you can take pictures on your phone. You can hook this up via Bluetooth on, on your phone and then take pictures, videos. It makes everything easier and it's just amazing for the quality of your videos and pictures and stuff like that. So I've been loving that. This is the ring light, you guys and it just creates a lot of light it is super compact and handy and it comes with this little clicker that you can change the ratio you can change the light if you want it to be a pink light a blue light or white light and you can turn it off turn it on it has a spot for your phone right there and i just prop it up and it's amazing it does come like i said with this remote control which is great for pictures or videos and you can hook it up via bluetooth to your phone and it makes shooting content a lot easier so i hope you guys enjoyed my favorite video quarantine edition i love all of these products and they've definitely been kind of keeping me sane during quarantine so i'll link as many if not all of them down below as many as i can i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if any of the products that i talked about today in this video are something that you've been using and you guys have been loving during quarantine and definitely let me know if you guys want to see anything else on my channel. I have been getting really creative and filming a lot more videos for you guys. And I just, I'm super excited where this is all going. So please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.